Hello everyone, and I am wearing brown. Shocking. Okay, we are doing a little get ready with me gingerbread look tonight, and it is Saturday evening, and I have my Lethal Cosmetics contour and blush palette, and what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of going for, stop zooming in. Oh my God. I'm going for this kind of thing right here. Not totally the same, but you know, my twist on it. The one thing I do like is, oh my God, I'm covering my face in brown. I never do this. The one thing I like is the, um, like the way her contour is. So I'm kind of trying to mimic that a little bit. And I'm challenging myself. Hi, if you are new here, I am Mare. This is Nightmare Bliss. And I am a retired. I'm bringing back, oh guys, 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 Vlogmas, we're bringing back the intro. Bringing back the intro. If you are not new here and you remember this old intro, comment below. Comment below and you can like say it along with me because everybody knows. I am a retired makeup artist, esthetician, hairstylist, and nail tech, and now I live on a mountain in the middle of nowhere where I do this for YouTube because I have nowhere to go. <laughs> no, actually we just went out tonight. So this is a little bit of a, a get ready with me for Saturday night. And am I going to go out in this? No. I guess I could. Um, if I did, though, oh my God, I can guarantee I would get so many compliments. In this town that I live in, people really get in the spirit of this kind of stuff. <coughs> I am choking on the powder from this. So I am basically, I never do this. We're doing things I never do. I'm doing some contour with brown. Oh my God. It's the most ungoth makeup I'm ever doing. But, sorry, itchy eye, itchy eye, itchy eye. All right, ooh. Yeah, that was shade Atlas, and now I'm going in with quartz. I may need to find a... No, I think this will work. I need to find some water. I'm doing a brownish kind of a blush here. I'm just worried it's going to look like my face is muddy, but I think by the time I do like freckles and the eyebrows and all that stuff, it might be kind of cute. <coughs> oh my god, I'm dying. My throat is so dry right now. Does she have a... Uh, she has a little tiny bit of contour just on her down here a little bit. Why do I feel like I just, my face is muddy? See, I'm not used to doing this stuff. I'm going to take a little bit of sanguine and I want to warm up my cheeks with this a little bit. I need to put a little bit of this reddish shade. Oh, that looks so much better. All right. Well, on my nose. It has been, what, like a year or two since I've done freckles. Remember when everybody was doing freckles? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that was my lethal cosmetics I did for all of this stuff. Hold on one second. I'm going to get a water or something. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Woo! Okay, this is even better. I have my um, cookie butter latte thingy. Uh, cold, uh, cookie butter cold brew um, from with oat milk from Dunkin'. The cookie butter... Better? Better. Cookie butter... It is cookie butter. Cookie butter cold brew from Dunkin' is my absolute favorite right now. That is probably my favorite beverage. And I'm trying not to drink it too much. It's very sweet. Can you hear cars going by? <laughs> Guess what's going on right now? Why is why am I all over the place here? I'm not centered. Oh, this is going to drive me cuckoo. Let's move over. <laughs> We're moving everything over. Ah, move with me. It's a get ready with me and it's a vlog. So, you know, go with it. I am in here on, <clears throat> oh my God, my throat's so dry, December 2nd. It was 56 degrees here today, December 2nd, in Northeast Pennsylvania. 
I'm in my studio and I am roasting. I have been so warm since I've been in here. I don't know if I had a hot flash. I don't know what's going on, but holy crap moly, I was going cuckoo in here. It was so warm. So anyway, let's talk about this. Uh, should I the freckle pen first? I'm worried this thing isn't good anymore. It looks kind of scary. Honestly, guys, it, it honestly looks a little scary. I'm, I'm slightly frightened of this freckle pen. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use this. I think, in fact, I'm going to throw this away. It's dried out, and it looks a little weird. Mm. Can I use this one? I have a kimchi chic one. I might be able to use this one. This kimchi one is really cute, but at the same time, it's also uh, t tends to like do a lot. But let's go with it and see what happens. Okay, so while I freckle myself up here, let's talk about my day. It was crazy. What did you guys do today? Are you going cuckoo getting ready for the holidays now? It was so warm out today, like I was saying, and I was working outside. We started the day, well, I don't know, maybe I should go into what happened to me the other day, but I really don't want to talk about that right now. <laughs> After I recorded my last video, it was, oh my god, I had some weirdness happen. It was really crazy. I have not done the freckles in a minute. I'm kind of going crazy with them because I'm going to be doing a gingerbread look. So, and this is so not me. And one of the reasons I'm, I wanted to do this gingerbread look, honestly, is because it's brown. <laughs> it's brown based and it's so not me. And you know, I'm not a fan of brown makeup. So this is kind of challenging myself this month going into the end of the year. I want to really challenge myself a lot. It's already been a crazy, crazy weekend. We've been having a lot of fun with Casper this weekend, our new puppy. And for the first time tonight, since Casper got here, my hubby and I went out on a dinner date. We were actually able to go out and go out to dinner. Oops, that's pretty smudgy. Whoopsie, I smudged that a lot. Uh-oh. Can we fix it? I'm not sure. I might be able to fix this. Yep, it's fine. I have a lot of contour and stuff going on, so... I'm not going to worry too much about this. I always underdo the freckles, so I feel like if I overdo it this time, that's okay. Because I usually never go crazy enough with the freckles. So I'm like, hey, let's go crazy with freckles today and see what happens. And you'll notice what I'm doing is I'm putting them on and then I'm using my beauty blender to kind of like lighten them up. So I'm putting them on and then I'm lightening them up. So there we go. All right, it looks weird. I'm not used to myself with all these goofy freckles on my face. It feels really weird. And they're a little sloppy, if I'm going to be honest. Now, one of the things she did in this that I think is really cute is she did like brown and she did white freckles. I don't know how that's going to look. Where is my... Oh, I put them all over here. I have all my ColourPop pens. I love these, the liquid liners. And I have the white, I have the green, I have the red. And wait, what color is this one? Um, oh, there's my white. I hope it still works okay. Oh, and I have the black. Why do I have the black? I don't know. Okay, this is the white. I'm really... This might actually be cute. Hold on. Oh, yep, I love it. Oh my god, I love it. It looks like I have, like, sugar and spice on my face. Okay, so I'm doing... Let me zoom in a little bit. Let's zoom. Oh, can you see the little white freckles? I'm doing... It almost looks like I have sugar sprinkled on my face. Okay, this is, like, the cutest. Highly recommend if you're going to do a gingerbread look. If you have a white liner pencil, do the darker freckles and then go over and do the little white freckles. 
and it almost looks like you have like little bits of sugar. That one I did too big. Uh oh. Well, I'm probably going to draw a little gingerbread guy over that one, so it's okay. I'm going to do something really cute with my eyes. I think I kind of know how I want to do my eyes. Oh my god, I'm loving white and brown freckles. This is crazy. I think I might do this with a couple of um, my Christmas looks. So, okay, I was saying I'm all over the place right now. I have my window open because it is so warm out. It's very weird. Oh my god, it actually looks like I have all little sugar sprinkles. Oh, okay, kind of loving this. <laughs> I thought this was going to be weird. Kind of love it. I need a highlighter. Hold on one second. Let me find a highlighter. Okay, I found a highlighter, and it is the Arthurine by Menagerie. And this is shade Winter Solstice, so that is absolutely perfect. And the thing that's good about this is it's kind of a gold, so it is nice and warm. Um, it's warm. It's cozy. I think this guy's, yeah, that guy's clean. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Oh, that looks cute. I'm going to do the highlighter over this. She has a ridiculous amount of highlighter on, but... This is doing my makeup in such a strange order right now, isn't it? Wait until I get into the brows and stuff. I'm actually... I think I'm actually going to do brows tonight. Oh, look at the highlighter on my nose. Okay, so, <laughs> this all being said, this is a holiday costumey kind of look. This is not a, hey, let's go walk around my town in this. Just, I'm putting that out there up front. This is for a makeup challenge for Instagram. And, you know, I'm looking for new things to do to play with some makeup and do some fun stuff and kind of get out of my routine of what I'm always doing. So I wanted to do something different. Where is my eyeliner? <gasps> nope, that's a contour stick. Here she is. Do you know how hard it was to find a brown eyeliner somewhere in here? I did find it. It was in my drawer. This is Whiskey, and this is the Liquid Eye Lie, L-I-E-N-E-R, Demi Matte Liquid Eyeliner from um, House Labs. And this is a really dark brown. Look at, look at this crazy point on here. I'm going to do... Let's see, where is that... Mm. Hold on, now I have, this, I have to find this other picture. What do we think of the freckles and the highlighter? I'm, like, absolutely loving this. It's so cute. Okay, so I found this eyeliner look that I really liked. My window is wide open on December 2nd because it is so warm out. It is very, very weird. Very very strange situation so my apologies if you hear cars going by and stuff but I absolutely positively had to have my windows open because I'm roasting in here so basically what I'm doing right now is just a big huge line uh, a big wing like and we're talking did you just see that we're talking a really big wing and I am, because I have kind of a hooded eye, see how I brought that down, I went, er, and I made like a little notch in it. So it kind of goes up like this. I'm really over-exaggerating it so you can see it. It's almost like a little bat wing kind of thing. I'm going to bring this down. My eye is watering. Thank God there's no makeup under my eye right now. So I just have a really big wing like this. Uh... That's pretty cute. I think I'm going to leave it like that. I don't think I'm going to do anything underneath here right now. I think I'm going to save that for some eyeshadow. 
Uh, you'll notice I'm doing this giant wing. So I'm doing this a little out of order of what you guys are used to. Doing a big giant wing first. And then we're going to throw a little bit of eyeshadow on. But the eyeshadow is not going to be the main star of the party here. So The star of the party is really this whole gingerbread feel. I cannot wait to do the lip because I'm going to do the brown that I um, talked about in the Unearthly Devour collection unboxing it is, where did I just put her? I just saw her, there she is. And this is shade Chomp and I was saying I love this, it's like this really super dark chocolatey brown. I think I'm going to do that with like a gold kind of, gold fleck kind of gloss over it so that I get like the dark brown but then with the gold to kind of have a somewhat of a gingerbread feel, but I want the lips to be a lot more dramatic. If I'm going to do a brown lip, it's got to be a dramatic brown lip. It can't be like a boring brown lip or else I'll just, I can't do it. So this is my wonky eye. This eye, for some reason, is droopier on my lid. I would love to get Botox or an eye lift. <laughs> Not lying. I'm going to be totally honest with you, if I could get a, like, yes, cosmetic surgery, I'm talking, a, an eye lift on my eyes, I would. I might someday in the future. I'm not doing it now. I'm not opposed to it. Um, and the reason why is because this, see right here, is just starting to really droop right here. And it's not even a cosmetic thing that it bothers me with makeup. It, when I'm really tired, my lid droops and it actually uh, inhibits my vision a little bit and it gets very bothersome. So I did actually talk to a doctor about it and I said, you know, it, it's, and I talked to my eye doctor about it too. I said, you know, it really messes with my vision in my left eye. I almost feel like this wing isn't even big enough. <clears throat> Now, let's leave it like this first. Let's leave it like this. Let's not go crazy with it. We'll say it's enough for now, and then... Oh, I hate doing the liner on this inner corner like this. It always tickles, like, so much. I'm not even that worried about this inner corner thing, because we're going to do... I like the way that she did in this photo. Whoa, let's not drop my mirror. Seven years, bad luck. See how she did this, like, a whole lot of white on the inside? I really like all that white on the inside. So we're going to be doing that. Whoa, I also like how she did the she did the dark lip, and she almost did, like, that cartoon lip over the top, so I might try to do that as well. But, see, I kind of want to do these little cutouts, like, but I'm not going to do as many. I think I might just do a couple. I'm not doing them all across because I kind of like how this like freckly thing looks. Do we want brows? Do you think I need brows? Should I do brows? This is when I wish I was doing this live so that you guys could be like, yes, do brows. Or no, don't do brows. I think I'm going to do brows. Uh, what do we have? I, I have a uh, Fenty. Um, this is my brow MVP in light brown. Let's see. Screw it, people. I'm going to have eyebrows. Does anybody remember what I look like with eyebrows? I'm doing my kind of gothy brow, though. I'm going to do my gothy brow. Oh my god, it's so weird to have eyebrows. I'm still doing kind of a gothy kind of angular brow though. Look, I may be doing brown, I may be doing gingerbread, but I'm still going to goth it up a little tiny bit. And even though this is definitely like, I was going to do a super crazy goth gingerbread look originally, but like I said, that's, it's easy for me to do gothy makeup and crazy makeup and so this, I almost feel like, 
let's do brown makeup and it's kind of a normie thing to do oh let's do a cute gingerbread thing okay it's a little normie for me it's a little pedestrian it's a little normie not gonna lie but I like to challenge myself could I do a very very goth scary gingerbread look yeah I thought about doing like like zombie gingerbread or something really crazy like that and then I decided like no that's that's actually not that much of a challenge to me I mean it could be artsy with it but this it's more of a challenge to stick to the browns which you know I hate but I'm actually loving this right now I'm kind of liking the, the whole thing although why can I not get this brow on my left is not cooperating do you hear hey sniffy <sighs> Lydia is in here sniffing and her nose is just going cuckoo Lydia go lay down please I'm almost doing like some Susie Sue like kind of Susie Sue eyebrows but not quite as extreme I don't know they don't match I don't know is it me they don't they don't match they don't match at all this one is like way too low on the corner oh man you guys this is why I don't do eyebrows anymore it's like who wants to deal with this do you people deal with this all the time I'd rather just save my time and not have eyebrows than do this nonsense Okay, that's looking better. Oh, that one's too thick. Oh. Okay, that's it. That's the best I'm doing. I'm, I'm not playing with these anymore. I'm over eyebrows. I hate eyebrows. I don't like having eyebrows. I don't like doing eyebrows. New cream gel liner. What does this look like? Oh, ooh, I like that. I pulled out my ColourPop cream gel liners. Okay, this is definitely having a little bit more of a gingerbread feel to it now. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. It's so weird I haven't done any eyeshadow yet. I just want to get this on first because I'm going to do that white around it. So this is ColourPop BFF. Um, this is shade Red Rock. And I wanted something warm. And then we're going to do, let's see. This is shade Juniper, the BFF cream gel liner. And I want to do Juniper in my waterline, I think. Yeah. Waterline and a little bit underneath, I think. Sorry, my mirror is blocking, but. Alrighty. You know what I do want? I have. Oh, there it is. I have a couple of them. I have these yellows. So I have, what is this one? Sub Zero and Two Can Do It. Let's see. Which one do I like? I think. I think two can do it. It's more gold. And I want to just add a little bit of this over the top to warm it up. There we go. So I'm kind of blending like three shades of the cream gel liner. But I'm also going to be doing that white. I want this in here. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. And again, I think I, I talked about this when I just did with like the other get ready with me with my Christmas wish list is I have hazel eyes. So these shades like these golds and these reds look, they look really good with hazel. Lost my picture. 
Oh, I want to tell you who the makeup challenge is from. Hold on. Do, do, hold on while I'm looking in my phone because I'm rude. No, I'm not rude. I just need to find it. Albums. 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 Hello. Oh, and I'm sniffly because my window's open. I'm sorry. I'm all sniffly. I'm a mess, man. What a mess. I'm trying to find the list because I have the name of the Instagram person. Okay, here it is. December Makeup Challenge. And this is where I found this. December Makeup Challenge, Frida's MKP, as in makeup. Now, Frida is very cool. It's F-R-I-D-A-S M-K-P, and I'm going to link her below. She's actually on Instagram. I don't think she has a YouTube channel, but I'm doing this on Instagram, and I want to film it, and then I'll put my looks on Instagram. And so she has a thing every day. So I missed, yesterday was winter, and I didn't do it, but I might go back and do it still. Um, then today is gingerbread, tomorrow is tree, then we have things like reindeer, candy cane, magic ornament, Eight is mold wine, and I'm really looking forward to mold wine because I actually want to make mold wine and do my makeup. So I'll have the mold wine bubbling away on the stove, and we'll do like a mold wine makeup inspired look. So the eighth, that one's going to be really cool. But I'm going to put the list up, uh, the screenshot of the makeup challenge. I'm going to put it on the Instagram when I put this look up there. So if you want to see what's on there, or if you... Even if you're not a YouTuber and you just feel like maybe doing this makeup challenge, what do you think of this so far? I'm not hating it. Um, if you want to do this, or even if you aren't a YouTuber, you're not... I'm lining my lips because I feel like it. If you just want to do it for fun, you know, you can. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ha, uh, ha. Uh. That's a very hard lip liner. It's from uh, a while back. This is an oldie. I got this in a boxy charm. This is Saint Lux Secret Admirer Lip Liner. Uh, you know, I need to use some of this stuff up, and you know, I never use browns like I said so so go on Instagram and uh, say hi to Frida's MKP now Frida is uh, if cat lady Antigone or Senate see this Frida's MKP on Instagram. She's in Sweden. She is another Swede. And I was like, yay. Uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, I just have something, something with the Swedes, you know. I'm just drawn to the Swedish stuff, I guess. Okay, I want to, I just want to get this lip color on because I really like it. And then we're going to do the eyeshadow and some other stuff and I'll be done. But this is looking cute, I think. Oh! <gasps> lip shade. Sorry, I can't talk. Can't talk while I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. I can hum. Ha 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 ha. La 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 mm.
I'm having a flashback to the Friends episode where Ross accidentally hit on their cousin, which was, like, looking back, you're like, really? Uh, okay. And he's like, oh my god. This is the longest that no one has ever talked, ever. That's how I feel about doing my lips right now. Sorry. I really had to overline. Um, hold on, I need to find a gloss. I will be right back. Okay, I am back and... Uh, wow, we are like really zoomed in today, aren't we? When I think of gold, I think of... Uh, I think it's called Miel. Right? Did I get... Yes, Miel Nomad uh, Fête de Provence. Miel is French for honey. It's the word for honey. So... Miel is probably going to be really pretty with this. You could kind of tell with the highlight and everything. I need to let this liquid lip dry down. But let's decide what to do with a little bit of eyeshadow. And we're going to have to do that white all around my eyes. And we're going to start, we're going to start frosting when we're done with this gingerbread here. So I have two palettes. I have Blend Bunny, the dollhouse, and I have Blend Bunny um, all done up. And I'm trying to decide what I want to do because this has all of these browns and things I like, never use. Like, look, entire rows I've never touched. <laughs> so I have used this palette, though, the Dollhouse. I have not used All Done Up at all. And I'm feeling this one a little bit more because it's got some of these really nice... It's got these shimmers. I really need to use... Uh, I like Centerfold is like a super, super gold. That might look really pretty. Yeah, I think we're going to do All Done Up instead of um, the Dollhouse because I just think it's going to be the better choice. I'm just looking at my reference photo again. My lip, obviously, and things are going to be a little different. Like I said, I'm not doing... I don't want to do the exact same thing. I do kind of like the little white squiggly line she has going through her eyebrow, but I'm not 100% sure that I want to do that. I'm like, I'm debating about it. Should I try it? Should I just try it? Okay, I did it, and it is like super duper light. It's cute though, I like it. Okay, I definitely like it. But Oh my god, it's really cute and I really like it, but this white is not popping as much as I want. So, mm -hmm. is there white in here? Survey says no. What I'm looking for right now is... Hold on, there might be one in here. Why do I feel like there's a white in here? I was right. Look what I have. This is the Lovesick Makeup a Murder... Um, uh, what's it called? Do, do, do. Water activated split liner. Um, Craze Obsession Heartthrob Staked Heart. So there's bright red and white, but there's a white in here, and I think this white is what I need to have the white really pop. So now what I have to do is I have my little tiny liner brush right here. I need to get some water so I can water activate this stuff. Be right back. Okay, I did not expect to be having this much fun with brown makeup, and I'm having such a good time. Um, all right, so I am going to water activate. Uh-oh. It is a really good thing that I check this. This is not a good one to use. 
I'm going to use a different brush. Let's try this guy. Yep. My brush, she were not clean. My brush were not clean. Okay, let's see if we can get this white going. So I'm just water activating this. And I want it to be really thick. Now we're going to get some frosting looking stuff here. And what else? Okay, she outlined all the little figures. But let's do this first because I'm actually loving this white line through the eyebrow. Oh yeah, that pops a lot more. Okay, the problem is when I hit a hair on my eyebrow. <gasps> okay, I have to like dot it on. This is where I think it really does help if you have no eyebrow hair. But it does look kind of cute in a weird way. Why does why do I like squiggly eyebrows? I don't know. I think it looks kind of cute. Oh my god. I could have used this for the freckles too. I almost feel like I should have brown contacts in for this. So my day today was so... Oh, look at how cute that's looking. My day today was so crazy. We went up to Waymart Milling, which is a place where we go to get um, bird feed for our chickens and our ducks. I'm definitely using this for the lip thing. I think I really want to do the the frosting thing with the lips. I'm not sure though. I like the way the lips look, so do I want to ruin it? I don't know. Let's just get this little squiggled first. Like that. Uh, harder to do on this side because of my piercing. You know, I don't like, I really don't like doing stuff over my piercing. But there it is. All right. Okay, we got to do a little bit thicker on this side. More frosting. More frosting. I'm going to bring this down. So I think I'm going to be using this. My phone keeps shutting off. You guys, you know, I try to leave it. I tried to set this so my screen stays open. And it shuts off no matter what I do. It makes me cuckoo. I kind of like how she has... You know what? I think I'm going to do this. How she has the white line the white like double line thing going here. I think I want to do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's keep going with this crazy frosting. So we went up to Waymart Milling this morning and got a thousand pounds of chicken and duck feed because we are stocking up. We're getting ready for winter here. So we are super du duper stocking up on it. Okay. I kind of like the little squiggly thing. Not even kidding. Okay, so we're going to do, she did a white line here. I am still doing eyeshadow too, so. But now we're going to start getting into the, the fun eye look stuff here. Holy crap. This eyeliner is amazing, by the way. I am going to be using this a lot, these reds for Christmas. I'm going to use this a lot this month, I think. Again, this one's Make Up a Murder, and I love these. And this, man, this is a really good formula. It's a really good formula. So she did, how did she do that? She did it from here. I do like the way she did this. So I'm doing like almost like a weird cut creasey kind of thing like that and then she had to come up and out. It's tricky for me to go around. Why don't we bring it up and into the squiggle for my eyebrow? How cute is that? So there it is. So I almost did a, like, a faux, a cut crease line with the white. This is, I was like, oh, this isn't going to be too crazy. Now I'm just, like, having way too much fun. Okay, 
but here's where I have to really concentrate. Ooh. You always have one side that's like more challenging and for me that's my left side. I need to do a little more frosting in the eyebrow. I'm going to bring this down like that. <gasps> I did it in one big swoop. Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. I might actually redo this line and thicken it up because I'm worried when I do the eyeshadow I might end up kind of covering it a little bit. So I want it to really, you can kind of see it's kind of popping pretty good right now, but... Oh my god, I'm having way too much freaking fun with this. Trying to see if my lips have dried down enough to do this yet. Let's see. Hold on, let me try. I want to see what the gloss looks like. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Guys. Oh, my! this might be one of my favorite makeup looks. And it's all brown. <gasps> what is happening in my life right now? Okay, I really like the dark lip with this. And I am... Loading on the gloss in the middle. If I don't like this, I can cover it up. But I want to try it. It dried out. <laughs> Okay, more white, more white. So, uh, yeah, we, we did the feed today, and we took Eliza, and we took Casper, who are our two Italian greyhounds, and Luna Bun went, my Chinese crested. Dude and Lydia stayed home, because Dude is going to be 14 this month, and he doesn't, he's been having a rough time, like I said, and my other get ready with me. And Lydia doesn't, she couldn't care less about going for a car ride, so she stayed here. I kind of like the cartoon lip thing. Oh my god. This look is just giving me too much fun. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I got the my line is a little thick, so I'm just going to touch it up with this. So what I do is take this and go. And should I do a little bit on the, my phone shut off again? Look at this. Every time I need that picture and the weird thing is she doesn't have any there's no white on the bottom. That's interesting. She has a very prominent line across, oop, I need that still, across the top but not the bottom, which is so weird. It's odd. All right. Um, but I do like the cartoony lip white thing, so that's kind of cool. I almost feel like I need to put a little bit on the bottom because it's bothering me. But. See what I'm saying? <laughs> That's so cool. Wow, this is coming out really cool. Okay. So that's Unearthly Chomp, and then I did the little cartoon kind.
kind of white lines and uh, meow the gold and I'm going to do a little bit more now now that this dried I'm going to get a bunch of this on here and I'll put it right under see I don't want to cancel out the white of that top line I just want to like make it a little more subtle okay let's get back into the eyes so now what is my time on here? Okay, we're all right. Because my, my camera shuts off and I have to restart it after half an hour. So we are cruising right along. Um, hmm, 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 do we want to... I don't want too big of a brush. Get my blend bunny brushes. So I really think that for this eye look, what do we want to do? Okay, we're going with gingerbread. So I'm going to stick to these. I don't want to do too dark, though. Um... Pouty. I think pouty is a true gingerbread color, kind of. So I'm going to do this here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I might have to redo my line. And then I want to take, do we want centerfold? I want some kind of gold up here. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Okay, that one. Right under this white line. <gasps> not the fallout, not the fallout. Oh, oh okay. Uh, I think it's all right. I'm putting that little extra powder under my eyes. Sip time. Let me not mess up my lips. <gasps> All right. This is looking really cute, though. We're getting there. Okay, so again, we're going to do pouty on this side. I'm thinking I may have to redo my eyeliner, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to or not. a really pretty color actually for our brown. We don't want to mess up the white line. But I do want to bring this up and then just that was in case you missed that sound. Okay that's looking cute. Alright I didn't even start drawing gingerbread people on my face yet. Holy crap we have a lot to do. All right, and I need more gold. Gold, gold, we want gold. I'm doing centerfold and starlet and mixing. Mixing, 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 mixing. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> hey, look. I need my coffee, and I just swallowed it like crazy. Okay, I'm going to really load centerfold on the middle right here. And I got a big chunk of it. Like, okay. There we go. I just want the gold kind of in the middle to really pop. And don't you dare shut off. I'm going to do unexpected. Just the this kind of gold color. It's a cookie color. I'm just going to start putting a little bit over this. I just want to soften it underneath. That's better. Okay. Ooh, I like that with the gel liners in this. I just want to really soften the line underneath. And a uh, big old fluffer brush. This won't work, I think. I need just a pure white, so we're going to take Knockout, which is the total white, white, white. And then we're going to start doing this. 
Oh, she did that white. Because you really want to get like the frosting thing going on here. Not a usual makeup look for me. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm trying to see if she did a lot of white um, on the corners, but she really didn't. She has a lot of white on her brow bone, but I don't want to do that too much because I don't want to take away from... There we go. I don't want to take away from my little white squiggle lines here. My little white frosting lines. Okay. So, now what I want is... Oh my god, there's just like white stuff everywhere. I'm going to try something. Yep, this is the... No, you know what I want? I know what I want. This is the Menagerie Hummingbird Eye Face Lip. No, that's too pink. We don't want to do Hummingbird. Hold on, I want something warmer. Warmer. Nope, too warm. <laughs> oh, crap, where? Hold on, now I have to look for something again. One sec. She did not just find exactly what she was looking for right on the desk. This is Love is Always the Answer by V.E. And this is, wait, oh, this is one of those multi-chrome toppers that I um, did in the unboxing. Oh, my God, wait, this, I think this might be really cool. I actually don't like this white line in the center here. And I'd rather have like a multi-chrome in my inner corner than the white. So I'm doing this instead. And then I'm still going to put a little bit of white. But see how I have the like white going around that? I like that a lot better. I didn't like this white line right here at all. But I do like the white on the inside of the, you know, the sides of my nose. Yeah, I think I like that better. And, you know what, just because why not, let's put a little bit of this just right in the middle for more shimmery shimmery on the lid. I am a very shimmery, I'm a glitter, glitter bread? <laughs> glitter bread. Instead of gingerbread, it's glitter bread. All right, there. So... Other than throwing some lashes on, I think I don't want to mess with my eyes too much more. If you just look at all this, once I do some lashes, I think that's really cute. Should we just throw some lashes on? Should we? Should we? I have, uh, let's see, voices. I have that. I have uh, so many lashes. These are the uh, Blend Bunny lashes. I'm just trying to find one that's cute. They're huge. They are like freaking humongous. I have those, and I also have Cursed, and I have Penelope's Tears, and what else do I have? I have Unearthly. You know what? I think I'm going to go with the Unearthlies. Oh, I have... Oh, wait. Oh, that might work, too. Oh, this is a hard choice. You know, I really think... Uh, we're doing a lot of Blend Bunny and Unearthly. I like these Unearthly lashes in Eternal. I think I'm going to do these. So, okay, I'm not going to make you sit here while I put these lashes on because I have to trim them and everything. So hold on, I'll be right back. Let me get these on. And then we're going to start painting some gingerbread on my face. Honestly, I think this is the fastest I ever put on a lash in my entire life. Sorry for the jump scare being so close to the camera. Okay, I need to... Uh, hmm, where'd my lip liner go? There it is. Touch up my line a little bit. 
Mm -hmm. a little bit of clean up. better okay and it's debating if I want to do my little corner pieces because you know I like to do these little corners like this yeah I think it needs it it needs it it needs it let's do it so if you're wondering what I'm talking about if you're new here I have little tiny eyes I have little tiny baby eyes and I have to trim the hell out of eyelashes I take a good I take that much off and I hate wasting things so what I do is I take this I put a big glob of glue on here, across the top. Let it dry for a sec. Grab this, like so. Here's that gonna stick. I have to grab another one. Hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. I need to make sure this isn't gonna stick to my. There we go. Are we gonna be good? Are you gonna behave yourself? And then I put it right on the corner like so. See it's not, it's sticking, it's pulling it off. Let's use my fingers. Okay. It's gonna go right there. <gasps> like that. And set it and don't move. Don't blink, don't move. Try not to blink. It's gonna stay right there. Okay. Um, Something else I want real quick. Yeah, I think so. Need a small brush. There we go. This little guy. Taking some of zero, the melt zero that I used before. I'll put some of this in here. It's a little red on the inner corner. I want to add some more gold to it. I just want it to be very like frosty gold. That's better. Tone the red down a little bit. There's a lot of red shift in the multi-chrome I used, which I like, but I just want to tone it down a little bit. So I'm going to use this for to make really super sparkly inner corner. I think I even want some more white on the inside. I like the way the white's looking. That's one of those things like you just, you do this and you're like, uh-oh, 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 oh, you guys. I trimmed the other little lash and where did it go? <gasps> I have to find it. Hold on, I've lost it in this mess. Okay, I found it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, whoa, scary. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. This is actually looking very cute. I mean, even with how crazy this is with the glasses. Ah! Lipstick all over my teeth. I'm gonna have to fix that. Mm -mm. There we go, that's better. All right, I found my other little corner of my lash, so let's stick that on before I lose it again. It fell off to the side in between all my liners, so that kind of sucked. So again, I just put a whole globby glob glob of glue on here. And la la la. Let it dry for a sec. And the key is, when you place this on the outer corner, you just have to get it lift it up under your lashes and right into place and then don't move. Gotta hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. Not move. And then I also kind of keep pushing it up as it's trying to. So then I have these cute little corners. This one's got to go up a little bit more. I got to hold it until it dries. I just have to hold it up like this. Otherwise, she wants a flop down. And you can have it flopping downboard. Just you got to go by the shape of your eyes. 
the shape of my eye, I need mine to be up a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eyes are looking cute. I need this again. I want to do a little bit more with this knockout because it looks really cool and it kind of looks like sugar. So I really want to just like bring that around my eye a little bit more. I like how that's looking in here like that. All right. I think everywhere else it's okay. Okay. All we got to do is some little gingerbread people and we'll be done. So she has little gingerbread people and hearts and things drawn on her. I think I'm just going to do... My phone is locked. So she has like a tree, a star, a couple of hearts. See all these little things drawn on. Hmm. I think I'm going to do like a heart and a star. And maybe a tree. I don't think I want to do a person though. So I'm just trying to think how do I want to do this because there's a couple of ways we can do this. I am going to outline them with the white though. Um, I'm thinking I could use like this cream gel liner. This is a little bit red though. I mean it needs to be like a real brown but then this brown is kind of dark. Well, you know what? We'll go with the darker brown and because no, this is oh dude, this is about the exact right color. This color um juniper. So I think we're gonna do a heart right here. Heart. Oh no, that's a good color. Okay. And I'm also going to use a little bit of eyeshadow to like give it a little bit of like cookie-ish. Do I want to do a gingerbread person? I think I need to do a star. Let's do a star right here. The star is harder to draw because this thing is not very sharp. I wonder if I can sharpen this. Wait, doesn't it have a thing on the end? It does not. Oh my god. Some of these, like you take the thing off and it has a sharpener. Well, it's okay because... I'm going to outline it in white so I'm not too worried about it. Basically just got to get the basic star shape in there and then I'm going to outline it so there we go. All right and then it yeah, will do a person. Let's do a little gingerbread person at the outside corner little head. This piece of hair is totally in the way. And then we got a little neck and the little arm. Little arm. I'm just gonna do it like this. Oh my god, my hair is totally in the way. And um... It's looking like a weird flower. Why is it looking like a weird flower? Oh, I broke my pencil. Okay, that's all right. Now it's sharper. Okay. Little legs. There we go, little gingerbread person. Your head looks kind of small. Alrighty. Okay, and then we'll do a heart here. And then I'm doing a tree, because I want a tree. Now I'm getting all fancy. How did she do the tree? Oh, she just did like the... Uh, uh, uh. And I'm not even being that picky about it, because once I outline it in white, it's going to look better. I'm just getting like the basic shape in there and then I'll do a star over here. Oh, 
I broke it again. Oh my god, I'm breaking the crap out of this pencil. Well, if I wanted to use this up, I'm doing a good job here. And the thing about this is like, you know, it's, I'm not doing everything all like super perfect perfect because I'm going to now take this and this is where we're going to clean it up. I'm going to do this first outline and then I am going to um, use some eyeshadow to fill it in a little bit better. So first I'm going to start getting my outline in. So this really pops and it starts looking a little more like gingerbread. And do I want to do... No, I don't think so. I was going to say, do I want to do any more... Um, I hope this is going to be small enough. Okay, let me start outlining. We need to focus. I don't want the outline to be too thick. Uh, I'm almost, I was looking to see if I had a smaller, I need like a super tiny, tiny, woo, point. I think I'm going to just try and use this one. Eh, we'll use this one. I'm not sorry, I'm not talking a lot. I need to focus doing these lines. Okay, the ginger man, red man, I think, is going to be the hardest. Because it's off to the side, so it's harder for me to see, actually. He's way over on my cheek. Really smart there. Did I just lick my brush? Yes, I did. <laughs> hey, I'm not doing anybody else's makeup. What? What? I have a one-legged gingerbread man, you guys. I think I just cut his leg off. I cut his leg off. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have to put his leg back. He's like, where's my leg, lady? Okay, I gotta draw his leg back on, because we just, now we have a gingerbread man who's missing a leg. Okay, dude, I'm putting your leg back. There, you got your leg back. Are you happy now? I almost feel like I need to give him two little eyes. Um, mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, she did two little, she did like a little smiley face. Hold on, no, not that. Oh, this. Ooh, ooh. He's so tiny. Can I do eyes? Oh my god, I did two little eyes and a smile. Okay, cute. I wonder how this would work. I want to try this. This is the ColourPop Light Liner. I'm just seeing how this, I'm doing this on this side, and I did the other on the other side. Just kind of comparing. 
honestly, I think I like the brush better. It still pops a lot more. Look at the white there and the white here. Yeah, this is good for little details, but I'm going to stick with my brush that I just dropped and lost. Where did it go? Did it fall? Mmm. People lost my brush. Well, I got this one. We'll use this one. This one's actually smaller. We'll use this guy. And we're almost done. This definitely pops a lot more using this. Oh, this is hard. Okay, tree. Here we go, tree. Wish me luck with my tree. I need to make the tree bigger. I almost want to put like little ornaments on the tree. Maybe, oh, oh, wait. Okay, let me finish this and I'll show you what I'm going to do. It's going to be cute. Okay, and then I have a star over here I got to do. And hair in the way again my hair out of the way. Is my camera going to shut off? No, I think we're okay. If you are sticking with me through this whole process, I love you and thank you so much. And this is about the wonkiest star I have ever seen in my life. Because it's on my left side, it's very hard to do. I almost could make this star into a gingerbread person. It's like it, it looks like it doesn't know what it wants to be. I think it wants to be a gingerbread person. My eyes are crossing from like looking over the side like that. I think I'm going to make this into a person. I'm going to give him a big round, round head and arms. Arm, arm. And these are going to be more like legs. You know, if you can do a star, you can do a gingerbread person. There we go. I love this little guy, though. Oh my god, how cute is that? Okay, now I gotta do the little smile on this dude. I'm gonna use this for that. Okay. And you know what? Wait, they need little buttons. Little buttons. And... Little buttons, and... one did not come out as well. <laughs> okay, that guy looks like he's got issues. <laughs> he needs a little help. I should have used the other. <laughs> okay, the color pop pencil definitely works better for doing little faces. I have to fix this guy's face a little bit. I just feel too bad for him. He's like having a rough time over here. Okay, you have a giant mouth and one of your eyes is like half missing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this guy, I gotta do his, I gotta cover him up. The good thing is, so I can just cover his face up with that. All right. And we are still gonna do some eyeshadow in these two. So they're not gonna look as flat. Oh boy, okay. Now I lost that liner again. There it is. Okay, let's do the little. I gotta use this for the eyes and the smile because it's just nice and tiny. I, I, little smile. Okay, we got him. We got him. Couple little highlights in the heart. Now, I was just thinking, like I have this red, this bright red, so. Oh, now it's going to turn pink. Hold on. I got to get the... 
no, get the white out of there. Make sure I rinse the brush off and make sure there's no white in it. All right. I want to take a little bit of red. Red. We're going to put a couple little ornaments on the tree. Just because I feel like it. Okay, it's looking like the tree is bleeding. Okay, it's getting better. It was looking like the tree was bleeding at first. Okay, that's not the worst. <laughs> but nothing else has color in it, so I don't know about that. Maybe that was a mistake. Whatever. I'm just going with it. Screw it. I don't care. Look at this. I did all brown. I am very proud of myself. Wait, I need to see this real quick. Yeah, see, I don't know. I don't think I like the red, do you? I don't think I like it. I can cover it up. <laughs> anyway, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take... I think I might want the dollhouse for this. Mm, do I? Do I? Do I? Mm, no. Mm, mm, no. I'm going to use this again. I know exactly the shades that I want. I want to take... Okay, I need a small little brush. Is that too big? That might be a little too big. This angle one. Yeah, I'm going to use this little angle brush. I'm going to take Unexpected, which is, and Pouty, which are the ones that are kind of the gingerbread colors I used on my eyes. And I'm going to start just making these look a little more cookie like if I can. I don't want to cover up... I can't cover up his little face, so there we go. Alright, that's a little better. I wonder if I can cover up the ornaments on the tree with this. Yep, I can. And we're gonna, because I don't like the red. I thought I might like the red ornaments, but I really do not at all. So, um, sorry for my sniffles again. My bleeding tree. Now that's gothy. I'm just putting a little bit of like the gold and stuff to like make this these look a little more cookie like, you know. I don't want to cover up his little face though. Okay, that's better. <sighs> Holy crap. Alright. Last thing I want to do is I want to take the little um where is it? I keep losing this little white pencil. And I'm going to do a few little dots of white on these just to make them kind of look like they have sugar on them. And I need to touch up my star like so. I need to touch up my tree. My tree is really a mess. I'm not at all happy with my tree, guys. I'm not happy with my tree at all. My tree is like very sloppy. I don't love it. Okay, so that, and then the last thing I'm going to do is just take a little bit of highlighter again and, and just highlight over the tops of these so they're not as dull if I can find my highlighter. There it is. Highlighter and... I think this is the brush I used for it. Yes, it is. All right. Put a bunch of this on, and I'm going to and I'm done. 
All right. What do you think? It's done. Gingerbread face. I don't know how I feel about this. It's weird. It's weird. It's brown. It's weird. No, I think it's cute. It is definitely not like... <laughs> I mean, it'd be cute to go to a party and have this on. <laughs> mm, okay. Gingerbread face. I did it. I did brown makeup. I have a brown headband on. I'm wearing a brown shirt that says, Petty is my love language because I don't like brown. <laughs> but I did it. Gingerbread face. Boom. Done. <sighs> Put a pin in it and come back tomorrow for whatever tomorrow is. What did I just say it was? Tree? Was it tree? Was tree tomorrow? And what, you know, this was going to be more of a get ready with me, but I just had to focus on this. Yeah, tomorrow is tree. My whole face will just be a tree. I don't know how I'm going to do tree. I might do an all green look and just do like a little Christmas tree somewhere just to be cute about it. All right. Well, I don't hate this. It's actually kind of cute. I like the lashes. I like the eyebrows. I have eyebrows. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm gonna go do a picture so I can put it on Instagram. And I just realized this light never turned on this whole time I was filming. Wait, look how much better this is gonna look. It's all uneven in here. Oh, hi stupid light that wasn't on right here. That looks better, doesn't it? Oh, hi. Okay, let me... <laughs> this is so crazy. This is a weird look for me. But it is what it is. It's cute. It's a little... Uh... I'm a little gingerbread girl. I feel really weird. <laughs> I do actually kind of love the white and brown freckles, though. I think they're really cute. Um, love the eyeshadow colors. I had fun with it. I really, really like this. I'm looking forward to using this more for like some of these other looks that we have going on that are coming up. Um, there's one that's just red lips. There's Wreath, so I can use this. I'm, oh, I think she came out with this in green and I never got it. Oh, crap. Well, I do also have, if you want to do things like this, there's things you can do. Like this is by Chaotic, and I'm sure I'm going to use the green and black in here. This is the Chaotic. Um which I'm going to call it, uh, Water Activated Liners, so Chaotic Cosmetics. So I have these, so I have this red and green in here, and I have the yellow, so I can do things with these too. But these are really fun to use if you want to paint little snowflakes and stuff like this on your face. You just get some Water Activated Liners, and you can really go to town with it. And I swear, you know what? Wait, i got to show you something before I go. Hold on. I cannot believe I just remembered that I have this. Does anyone have this? This is the Unearthly Cosmetics in the Mood. M-O-O-E-D. Wait until you see these. These are all water-activated liners. Look at the reds and greens down here. I'm going to be using the crap out of this this month. We are going to have fun with drawing on my face with water-activated liners. Anyway... I like Bitter. Bitter is my favorite one right here with like this burgundy and the sparkly green. But I'm looking at these down here. Those are very cool. And we have like Mood, the black and white. See now, why didn't I think about, I just remembered I had this. See these two right here? Those would have been perfect for gingerbread. If you have this, great. So this was, I mostly did All Done Up palette by Blend Bunny for the eyes and whatnot. Uh, that's it. So look. I'm wearing brown, and I have gingerbread crap all over my face, and I think it's really cute, actually. I could go to, I would wear this to a party. I'm not kidding. I would show up to a Christmas party in this. I think this is kind of cute. And would I go out into my town with my face like this? Absolutely. Um, I think Shirley asked, you know, like, do people stare at me or whatever? I have people compliment me every time I go out. People come up to me. People talk to me. I never have anyone standoffish or rude. I've never had anybody say anything nasty to me. People out where I live, I don't know, they just seem to appreciate artistic types. I think it's my proximity to New York City. I don't know, don't quote me, but it feels like, you know, people out here, it's a small town, but it's a very artsy town. There's, I don't know how many art studios, like painting, uh, gallery, not art studios, galleries are in my town. There's a lot of galleries. 
there are a lot of artists here. So it's a very artsy little community. Lots of musicians, lots of artists. Um, so I don't know. So I don't have a problem. I, if I went into town wearing this, people would be like, seriously, can I hire you to do my makeup for Christmas? That's what would happen. They would ask for my card and say, can you do that to me for Christmas? So not only would they not insult me, I would probably get hit up to do people's makeup. Pretty sure if I went out like this. Now I kind of want to go out to Main Street right now and go to a bar or something and just walk in like this. People would flip over this in my town. They would go nuts over this whole look. Can I sleep in this and wear it out tomorrow? Okay, I'm going to get out of here, but thanks for watching and go check out uh, Frida's makeup on Instagram. I'll link her below and come back for as many of the December makeup challenges as I can do. I am really, really striving to do all of them. Uh, I mean, there's 31 of them. I missed winter yesterday, though, so I'm kind of bummed about that. Like, it, I'm doing a Snow Queen kind of look, though, so I think I might count that as my belated winter. Um, I'm really looking forward to Snow Globe. That one's going to be... And there's a fireplace. On the 25th is fireplace. You know I'm going to do some crazy fire look. Oh, my God. I already have the perfect wig for that, too, for fireplace. <gasps> if you guys remember, I have this red and orange and yellow wig. Oh, my God. It's going to be so cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to come back every day for Vlogmas, and I will see you tomorrow. I'll be a tree. Maybe. Bye. Mm -hmm.